Guys, I literally just screamed bloody murder. I literally just screamed bloody murder. Thomas, Thomas the tank engine has hitched another trailer. Oh my, I, I, oof. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island season nine, episode 12, my God. Was today an episode? Um, I was I was very tuned in, honey. I was very, very engaged. I love to see things picking up. Before I get into it, as always, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below because you know we've got a lot to talk about today. We're gonna start with the aftermath of the Truth or Dare game with Jesse, who is put off by Will basically being too into the game. Girl, okay. And then she like, I don't know, jumped on his dick and whatnot, popped the balloon. It's a game. Tom picked Ellie, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't care it. whether it's a game or not, I just think it's a bit childish. Sweetie, if you don't want your game to be detected, and if you're looking for a cop out, pick one that's not so obvious. Yeah? Pick, to, pick an issue to have with Will, be something that is big enough for other people to also understand and deep and for us to be like, okay, Jesse, I get it. Will is a showman. He's always been a showman. He's a jokester. And you know he's not into anybody but you. And this girl's gonna talk about, it's just a game, it's just a game. And then it's gonna turn around and look at Zara. Zara is clearly distraught with her situation. And she's like, well, Tom is just so for you. Like, I don't understand why you're acting like, well, Jesse, we don't understand why you're acting like this, okay? And to make matters worse, she had the conversation with Will. Will was like, listen, I apologize. That wasn't my intention. I never want you to feel like you are um, not my first priority, blah, 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 whatever, because I'm all in on you. Did this girl reciprocate? No. She also, he also said something else like, I'm liking where this is going and, whatever I don't remember what he said and she's like same Jesse Jesse I'm I'm trying to keep my delusion but you're making it really hard right now moving on to Zara Zara's obviously upset with the way things went down in the game she was catching blow after blow after blow and I saw a TikTok where um people were exposing and we know shows are chopped and screwed right but there's definitely an agenda to make Zara look a certain way and it's very frustrating to watch but whatever one could argue that you can't portray someone in a certain way unless given um given the material whatever side you're on I'm always on Zara's side okay so yeah she's upset about the situation and these women who are around her every single woman is gaslighting her to her face Tom has actually been really good to you like what he really does have eyes for you I don't know but saying that he fancies Liv's face I'm sort of like yeah, but he had to pick someone, babe. Yeah, yeah you I think me. No, but like compared, like I'm not just a booty to you. I, know, but I don't know. I, it, it's giving me mad ick. He's not gonna move from you. He's so stuck on you. I didn't come in here for this though. No, like, Zara. I didn't. No, 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 no. This man sat in front of Zara and said he's never had this kind of connection with anybody, ever. And then when given the opportunity to pick my personality. Or even my face, and and here's the thing: some people were debating mm, maybe face wouldn't have been wouldn't have been a good like either option wouldn't have been good. No, sorry, personality you could definitely finesse. Face you could also finesse. I love looking into your eyes and feeling like we're bonding, and I can see your soul, and you know, like your face shows me that you're vulnerable and you're enjoying being in my presence. Like you can spin that body. It's giving fetish. It's giving I'm trying to bang. It's giving I was trying to hit. And he low key emphasizes that by saying, you know, the sexual tension was what was leading me, but now I'm just kind of like, Meh. so why were you telling her that, you know, whatever, I, I can't, I can't even waste my breath on this man because he was, he, he couldn't be bothered. Obviously she's visibly upset, couldn't be bothered. And even after he was told, yo, she would like some kind of comfort from you, he still couldn't be bothered. I'm just upset with a couple of your answers and things. Oh, it's a game. We're looking oh, for you're kidding. She's not piping up about the game. If you're doing that, mate, I'm out. Do you want to cover my face for the rest of the week? Oh, my. First, it was the back and forth with Olivia. And we're going to talk about Olivia. Then it was, um, uh... Ellie coming in and him not checking in on her, just saying, hey, I know this new person is here, but you're still my priority, even though my door may still be open. Like it's two things can be true. 
then it's this game and then now it's the aftermath of the game I'm just like okay you're done you disgust me it's over it's I mean I wasn't really fully on the Thomas the Tank Engine train to begin with but I'm definitely off it that's for sure but I'm also looking at Zara like Zara and she did have this moment thank god I'm like Zara never ever crack your head back to look at this man not one more game do not he's not worth it will never be worth it and he's gonna be exposed in some kind of way and I hope you are far away from it okay she ends up ending things later on so we'll talk about that let's talk about Olivia Olivia I don't know why and I, I I struggle to call people pick me because I do think that I have certain characteristics where some people will call me a pick me I mean it's happened on this channel before y'all y'all try to come from my neck but y'all not gonna get me anyways um <laughs> if you only watch reviews you're probably like yo what is she talking about don't worry about it but Olivia is literally the epitome of a pick me and she thinks that that's gonna grant her favor for Tom and I'm just like no it's only going to put you in the position that Zara was in. It's just a replacement. You're you're now you're you're not now going to get this new side of Tom and he's going to be like, "Wow, you've always been on my side. You've always been a ride or die. Now I'm going to treat you like the best woman in the world." No. You've just been replaced. That's the only that's the only difference. Like Olivia, it looks beg. It looks sad. So even after learning that Zara was upset and was looking for comfort from Thomas, what does he do? Goes and talks to Ellie. I feel like that kiss was really awkward, like... What, am I on yours? A little bit. I not say that. Ma, did you, want, did you want to have a good isolated kiss with me? I would have preferred to, without, like, eyes in the back of my head <laughs> or side by side to me. You OK, Zara? Been better, but, um, yeah, I think everyone just needs to sleep. And... Yeah. Like this woman is, this woman is looking you in the eye, clearly hurt, and you have no empathy, none. Y'all know the definition of a psychopath. Y'all know the definition of a narcissist. I'm not putting any terms on him. I'm just saying, do y'all know the definition? Okay, I'm just saying. And Olivia, one more thing about you. Looking at the situation, and you're still excited by a man who feels no way of treating Zara the way that he treated her. And even you, treating you the way that he treated you. Mm. In the morning debrief, Lana and Ellie share that they're both glad that Ron has cleared the air. There is no animosity between the two of them and things seem to be back to normal. I feel like we needed it out the way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like It was a lingering thing mm. and it's better that we both just had some clarity. But I don't regret exploring it i don't regret giving her the time of day at all i just i do regret my communication with lana about it lana we can only defend you for so long because i feel like she's shown him that if he goes and gallivants and comes back with his tail between his legs she'll forgive him i think I think only time will tell if that's actually going to be the pattern between them. But like, it was kind of like the same thing with Tasha and Andrew. I don't, I don't want to say too much because you know, Tasha be throwing blows for people on the social medias. But every time Tasha would come back and be like, I'm sorry, Andrew, it's you. And Andrew would take her back. No problem. And it's just like, at, at what point are you going to stand up and say, yo, what's the deal? Like, don't tell me things are solid between us. If you really are still open to exploring, just Keep things open so we all can manage our expectations. And then if we choose each other at the end, we choose each other. But don't be out here making it seem like I'm the only one. And then you're doing your slick stuff on the side. You get found out and you come and apologize. And I'm just supposed to forgive you every time. Like Ron truly believes, truly believes if he works hard enough, no matter the offense, he will get Lana back. Lana, that's embarrassing. Spencer consents the, um, should I even talk about Spencer? Is it worth the breath? He can sense distance between him and Olivia. I mean, they were never super close to begin with. She's still sprung on Thomas. It is what it is. It's just like talking about Aaron. What is it? Aaron is taking up space at this point, but whatever. <laughs> Moving on from them too. Ellie has a strategy talk with Will, trying to see how she should approach the uh, Tom situation. And Tom's like, honestly, just go right in there. And she does. <laughs> You're like such a good color as well. You think? Yes. 
Does that make you a bit flustered? You do. You <laughs> definitely do. I feel like it's completely done with you and Ron. Yeah, 100. The vibe was sick. Mm. And everything, like something I probably had on the outside. Yeah. I literally feel like it's gone like that. Yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom and Ron have the same issue where they have no problem um, treating the person who they're supposed to have the most care for like a like an afterthought if it means being the center of attention you know ron loves to be desired tom loves to be desired often at the expense of the person they're supposed to they're supposed to show the care and affection and whatever for right so i'm upset at this point with tom that he has a tendency of talking to everybody else about the issues he has with Zara and not going to Zara about it. And so Zara takes it upon herself to bring up the situation because she knew that man was not going to do it. Like, like something, like, he's a pussy. Sorry. Sorry. That's, that's, that's just the only way. That's the only, that's the only way that I could describe it. Okay. That's the only way I could describe it. And Zara's like, listen, what's the deal? Cause I'm tired of the back and forth. I need to know, are we on or are we off? I'll bring it up now. The uh, the face choice over body choice. I just feel like whatever I'd have picked, there would have been no good outcome. No, I, us not working out is is genuinely not that deep for me. Like, yeah. I just wish you know things had obviously gone different from a lot of people's parts. <sighs> yeah, we've both just been kind of clashing heads. There's days when you want it to work, where maybe I'm confused. I think you and me can admit there has been a lot of drama and headaches and confusion. Yeah. And for it to happen this early on, it's That's what I mean, this is meant to be much. like the honeymoon. Yeah. Like you want to be, you know what I mean? I truly believe um, he never would have had this convo with her if she didn't initiate it, um, which is sad because it makes me think, like, was he just waiting to hit? Or was he waiting for her to bite the bullet? Like, I just... He's spineless. And it's not attractive at all. Like... Olivia, really? This your man? This is your man. <laughs> Cue Dr. Phil. Not me saying Dr. Phil, and it's definitely Steve Wilkos. Y'all know what I mean. That's mine. And, and, I, and, and I'm going to stick and beside that's, him. And that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. Yeah, she going to stick beside him, all right. The guys got a text that Sammy has come to the villa. Boy, is this girl gorgeous. My God. I'm Sammy, I'm 22, and I'm from North London. I've been single for three years now, so I'm partial to a bad boy, but he has to have a good heart. Sammy says she's looking for a guy who is funny, ambitious, and loves to travel. And of course, of course, we've got a handful of men who are just foaming at the mouth for this woman. I can't, I can't blame them. She's stunning. Um, On the outside, what, he's got to be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, he's got to be ambitious. Yeah. Want to travel. Like... You can come to Australia if you want. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy is 100% my type on paper. Ronald, shut up. Ronald. Ronald McDonald. Be quiet, please. I just, I don't want to hear from you for the rest of the season. Is there a way we can arrange that? Can we... Just... Anytime he talks, just I can't, I, can't, I cannot stand him. Somebody else who's keen is Aaron. Aaron, no, no. Because if you partner up with her, she's going to get dumped being tied up with you. No, I want to see her stay in the villa. I want to see you gone. Do not go for her, please. Anyways, um, who does Sammy have a talk with? Oh, the girls. Before, um, before she talks with Kai, she has a talk with the girls and she's very warm. The women received her well. How could they not? Like, she's very kind, seems very genuine, is complimentary to the women. And so I'm not surprised that the girls love her and the guys love her. You all look unreal. Like, honestly, you actually do. She's so nice. Her chat is great. There really isn't anything about Sammy that's like not top tier. Kai, you're awfully quiet. Yeah, Kai, what are you feeling? <laughs> um, mate, uh, no, you're gonna actually talk to this one. Of course one, he is, bro. I'm actually worried about you, Ron. Yes, uh, sir. I'm very worried about you, Ron. Yes, the temptation's there. She is literally my type on paper. Relax. I'm calm. If you do go there, Lana won't be there you, that you're, you're giving up Lana to go there. Shaq is the only man that I believe when he says it would take a miracle, it would take an, uh, an astronomical type of connection for me to turn my head because he actually means it. 
okay, we had the little blip with Zara, but, but at this point he actually means it. Ron will say the same thing, yet any woman who looks in his direction, he's, you know what I mean? Whereas with Shaq, he's like, I'm, no, I'm good where I'm at. I'm not looking over there for nothing. I hope, I hope I don't regret my words because Casa is on the way on the way don't know when but it's coming we know it's coming so yeah I hope I don't eat my words but um he even warns Ron and says listen you've been down this road multiple times at this point if you go and pursue something even if it's even if it's just an inkling like oh maybe there could be something there just know you are throwing away the connection with Lana and honestly, I hope that he has a pep talk with Lana to let her know that at every opportunity he has to explore something else, he has taken that, which means he values the potential of something else rather than the actuality of what you two have together. I hope that seeps into her mind and she makes a clear decision on dropping Ron for good. Sammy takes Chai, Chai what's this guy's name? Kai. That's how boring he is. Um, yeah, she takes him for a chat and we learn nothing. If I came in here and I was true to myself and I, I left myself in a vulnerable position because I was true to myself, I'd happily go home. I'd go home tomorrow as long yeah. as I knew I was true mm. to myself. We're not in a relationship. We have said if bombshells do come in, you're not going to not get to know a bombshell because no. the, bomb, the bombshell could turn your head. We know he likes her. That's about it. They didn't talk about anything, really, which isn't really new when it comes to Kai and his conversations. But um, yeah, he had had a conversation with Tanyal, basically saying like, yeah, I like her. I think she's pretty. And Tanyal was like, oh, that's a little more honest than I thought you would be, but we already know Tanyelle is very unfazed with this whole situation. She said, if you go over there, baby, don't worry. My time is coming. Last but not least, we have the Tom saga continuing, but at least this time it does not include Zara. Thank you, Jesus. Tom and Olivia have a conversation on the terrace where they hash out their unfinished business. There is something still there. If it's just like sexual attraction mm. or if there's something deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I have been feeling it for a few days. For me to even consider it again, I'd yeah. have to see a lot of effort. Yeah. I'm hoping that Tom will graft a little bit and put in some effort because I'm not a second option. He makes me sick. He makes me sick. He truly makes me sick. I don't want to see him on my screen anymore. A lot of people are making comparisons <laughs> with Adam Gollard. I didn't see his original season, but that's scary. If, if they're making that comparison, that is scary. Anyways, Olivia's like, yeah, you know, you're going to have to graft for me. You're going to have to put in some effort. I don't want to be second place. You were second place this entire time. You were second place this entire time. And clearly you didn't have an issue because you're still feeding after this man. And here you are going to be second place again. Be Damn, we've been out here for 16 minutes. You know, I got a lot to say today. She's going to be se second option again. Because Tom also has a conversation with Ellie on the terrace to hash out their unfinished business. How's things with you, like? Single as fuck. <laughs> you just, you know what you're doing. I know. You do? Yeah. You literally like stare into myself. Fucking hell. <laughs> If you're going to play with anybody, play with Olivia, okay? I'm glad that Zara is not going to play with any more. Play with Olivia. Because like I said from the beginning, Olivia has been bad vibes to me. And I have not been able to shake that impression. I still feel it, if not more. So yeah, Olivia, I feel like you're, you're getting what's coming to you. Sorry. If there are some Olivia fans in my chat, sorry. I don't sympathize for her at all. Not for one second. Ellie seems like she's a game player. So Tom has definitely met his match. Mm. Let's see how this goes. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment, honey. We need to talk today, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next one.